care of business owner and I thought I would give you some insights on how to mow your lawn yourself and have a professional look lawn. Um, this task may seem like an easy task and it is if you want a mediocre looking lawn. But if you want a clean cut professional looking lawn then you need to follow these three steps. First is your choice in mower and how high you should mow your mower. Second is your choice in weed eater and how to hold and use your weed eater. And third is blowing off all the sideways, walkways, and driveways um, so you can have that finalized professional look. Uh, the first step is your choice in mower. Remember you pay for what you get for. So if you buy a cheap mower, you're going to have a mediocre looking lawn. But if you bite the bullet and you, you buy a more expensive mower that has mulching capability, which mulching is the mower doesn't shoot the grass out onto the yard, it keeps the grass in the mower, chops it up into fine bits, and shoots the grass blades back down into the yard and it serves two purposes fertilizing the yard and you don't have dead bits of brown grass all over the yard um, so if you use all these tools in picking a mower it's going to help your lawn look better if you buy a more expensive mower second is the height of your mower how high you set your mower you don't want to mow your lawn any more than four inches short because if you mow it too short the sun's going to kill your grass because the grass provides shade for your roots and helps the roots absorb the, the water so your grass will have a good growth and it have a green plush look to it. Finally, when you're mowing, is you want to mow in straight lines. If you don't mow in straight lines and you have a chaotic look, it kind of looks messy. So if you have straight, clean, uniform lines, this is going to provide that professional look that you're wanting in your lawn. Second, in choosing your weed eater. Choosing your weed eater is important because if you choose a cheap weed eater, you're not going to get a clean, finished look. There are many choices. There's electric and there's gas. Gas, like this weed eater right here, is the best option because it provides, it's powerful enough, it provides enough power to cut the stray blades of grass along the edges along the fence, along the house. With an electric weed eater, they're not typically power, powerful enough to do that for you. Um, so choosing a good weed eater, powerful, gas power preferably, will get you the clean look that you're looking for. Um, when you're edging with a weed eater, you want to hold the weed eater upside down like this, have the handle at the hip height, hold it, and you want to keep the head of the weed eater down low to the ground and keep your eye to the left of the head of the weed eater and walk backwards along the edge of the driveways and the sidewalks and this will provide that clean finish on the edges of your yard. When you're weed eating around the house and the fence line, weeding around the house typically is pretty easy because the foundation provides a smooth surface for you to, to weed eat along so the cracks and stuff like that, grass doesn't grow in it so it's smooth for you. Weeding along the fence line can be a bit tricky but, um, again, if you follow these tips, you should be able to get that clean look. Um, when you're weed eating, you want to hold, again, the weed eater right side up this time. Handle at the hip. Hold the other handle. Keep the head low to the ground. And then you want the string to just go underneath the fence line so that it will get any stray pieces of grass that the mower did not reach when you were mowing. These steps will help you have that finished look with weed eating. Um, it will give you a more professional look on your edge. And if you follow these steps in weed eating, um, it will give you that clean look that you're looking for. And finally, uh, is blowing off the sidewalks, the driveways, um, any patios that you may have. Any blower will work. Most blowers, electric or gas, are powerful enough to blow off the grass and get that look that you're looking for. First you want to start by blowing out the edges of the weed eater and keeping the tip low to the ground and follow the edge along the driveway and the sidewalk and typically this will blow all the grass into the yard. Second you want to blow the grass out of the driveways and the sidewalks. You want to start on one side of the driveway or sidewalk and blow the opposite way and blow all the grass into the yard. If you blow all the grass into the street it doesn't give that clean professional look so you want to have that done and keep the grass out of the yard. So if you follow all these steps in mowing your lawn, 
you'll get that clean professional look that you're looking for. And remember, you pay for what you get for. So buy good equipment.